Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. King Charles met Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis and his wife Mariva Grabowski for tea at Windsor Castle yesterday, where they discussed a 12.3 million pounds renovation of Prince Philip's family home in Greece. The Tetoi Palace, 17 miles north of Athens, was once the home of Greece's royal family before a military coup in 1973 and now lies in ruins, but could now be turned into a museum in a joint plan between Britain and Greece. The king visited the palace, where his grandfather is buried, last year as part of the 200th anniversary of the Greek War of Independence. The ruined palace is situated in 10,000 acres of woodland, 17 miles north of the Greek capital and was visited by King Charles last year to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the Greek War of Independence from the Ottoman Empire. The plan is to turn Tiktoi into a museum and has been described as a labor of love for the king. The Prince's Foundation is providing expert advice to the Greek authorities on how to restore the property, using Charles' rescue of Dumfries House, a Palladian country house in Ayrshire, as a model. A spokesman for King Constantine, the last king of Greece, said they want to use it as an example of best practice. King Constantine was exiled for almost 40 years after his country voted to become a republic. However, he was able to keep the palace as his private property until it was confiscated by the state in 1994. The king's role in restoring Dumfries House will be celebrated in the ITV documentary A Royal Grand Design which will air on Tuesday at 9 p.m. The monarch tells the program it was an appalling risk, but one worth taking. He added, I wanted to rescue the house because it is of such importance. I knew it was a very deprived area. I wanted to use it as a proper example of what I've always believed in, heritage-led regeneration. If we hadn't stepped in, somebody would have bought it and said they had a great idea, you know, for golf courses, and it would never have worked so it would have joined the list of yet more derelict country houses. The 2,500-year-old marbles were taken from the Parthenon between 1801 and 1812 by Lord Elgin, ambassador to the Ottoman Empire. The Greeks say they were stolen, but the British Museum Act 1963 prevents ownership of artifacts being transferred from the museum. Speaking in October, Mr. Mitsotakis told the Sunday Times he had a good personal relationship with King Charles and believes he is supportive. The king, he said, has a Greek heritage which he values and cherishes, adding, I think the mood is changing in the UK. It has emerged that Greek businessman John Lefis, 71, is investing millions to fly British MPs to Athens to lobby them to overturn UK law and allow the marbles return. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.